Oh, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight, Scopes a channel on a mission to make the United States the safest country in the world, uh, expanding obviously their AI and robotics to discuss William Santana Lee, obviously the CEO. As always, welcome back, sir. Good to see you. Robots will be everywhere. It's going to be. It's raining robots. We got uh, a lot of good stuff going on. Good to see you again. Yeah, and I think people underappreciate it, and you guys are kind of on the forefront of this uh, through a multitude of different uh, vectors, but let's get into it, because you just uh, recently been out on the road. We'll talk about some of these road shows, but you won an 18 uh, contracts, uh, basically valued at over a million dollars uh, during these road shows. Do you want to talk about those 18 contracts, You know what kind of robotics are we using here, and just kind of give us a full view? I mean, it's, it's all over the country. It's for more than a dozen different uh, states. Uh, almost every vertical, you know, from healthcare to casinos to transportation, commercial real estate, uh, lots of different locations across our whole portfolio of technologies, which is what we've been wanting, you know, folks on Wall Street to understand. You know, one, crime is not going away. Two, robots will be everywhere. And three, we've got a, you know, recurring revenue business model for a recurring societal problem. And I think, you know, Announcing 18 contracts on one shot worth uh, seven figures uh, shows that we're on the right path. Yeah, no, I think this is absolutely incredible and really shows the resilience. Uh, I mean, when it comes to these roadshows, are you guys looking to do more? Are you using this primarily as a funnel to kind of get these contracts? You want to talk a little bit about marketing? Yeah, I think because no one's ever done this before, it's a little unique. You're, you're not just going to, you know, Zoom someone to death or PowerPoint them to death or just frankly show up at just different trade shows. Uh, this has been working really well for us. We've done over a uh, hundred stops uh, across the country with, uh, as I affectionately call it, the robot aquarium. Uh, if you haven't seen it, go to nightscope.com slash roadshow. And we have this pod full of robots uh, and a telepresence uh, sales executive there to kind of answer any questions. And the process is a little bit different. Uh, we might do um, a needs assessment and a virtual demo first. And to get to know the clients, you know, is there, we can, do we have the right decision maker? Uh, do they have budget? Do we have an actual problem we can, uh, you know, help them? And when they're meeting folks at the, during the road show, it's not a first time meeting you. It's the follow-up. It's a, you know, profound follow-up where, you know, I might've met a, I don't know, a sergeant or, or city council member and, and they say, well, I love this, but I've got to go convince, you know, 10, 12 other people. And the the roadshow really helps bring all the decision makers into the pod at one time. And I think some people think it's uh, in, intended to be like the state fair or something like, you know, hundreds of thousands of people are going to be there for one location. That's not the purpose. This is a, you know, a, a sales tool uh, to get a sp particular client that might bring others uh, from the community uh, for them to better understand uh, how the technology works and it's been effective. So we want to, we want to continue. Yeah. And in the landscape of these road shows, um, I mean, you must see some kind of competitive, uh, competitive robotics. I mean, what kind of, um, competition do you guys see there? And, and just, I, I'd love to get an idea what these, uh, robotic road shows actually look like. Um, we, I think now, if you look at, um, uh, the competition that's, uh, you know, that we're aware of in the U S um, kind of everything's gone by the wayside. Uh, everyone's either failed, pivoted, or gone bankrupt. Um, and we're still standing and growing uh, double digit. So I think that speaks to the to the determination and relentless nature of the team, uh, but us, you know, continuing to make the right decisions to grow the company in a in a difficult space. You know, physical security, law enforcement, public safety is not a you know, easy thing to sell into. And then uh, lastly, the technology itself is extremely complicated, but, you know, there's not much competition uh, out there. I, I think probably the best indirect competitor would be the manned guarding uh, companies. Um, but uh, in terms of robotics uh, and, and the like, uh, there's no one, you know, operating at our scale across an entire nation 24-7, uh, for millions of hours and generating millions of dollars of revenue, both indoors and outdoors. Yeah, I think that was incredibly insightful, and I'll pass it off to the viewers. We'd love to know what you think, and definitely consider subscribing, because when news like this hits the wire, of course, we'll bring it to you here. But on the note, as always, we look forward to catching the next one. And don't forget to go to nightscope.com slash innovation, and you can download the brand new shiny investor deck with all kinds of cool stuff, uh, including our outlook.